Hello friends, our today's question is valid palindrome. So what is given in this question is our face is a palindrome. Like what is palindrome first of all? So like if we talk about palindrome now, so palindrome is something that if we read it from front or that it we read it from back. Uh, if we go from front to back and if we either go from back to front, it's read the same like naman. So if we are reading from here from the starting uh, then it is also Naman and if we are reading it from back then it is also Naman. So this is palindrome. So now what is given in this question is a face is a palindrome if all if after converting all uppercase letter into lowercase letter and removing all non alpha numeric characters. Okay. So what are alpha numeric characters? Alpha numeric character characters are like a to z then capital a to capital z and 0 to 9 so these are called alphanumeric characters okay so okay again so after removing all alpha uh, and removing all uh, all non alphanumeric characters it read the same uh, forward and backward alpha alphanumeric character into letters and number okay given a string s and return true if it is palindrome and false otherwise okay so we are given an string that may contain non alphanumeric characters non alpha uh, non alphanumeric characters and that may contain white spaces okay so we have to remove those non alphanumeric characters and white space and then we have to find whether this string is palindrome or not and we have to return true if this string is palindrome and otherwise false okay so what we will do now so this is basically like uh, if we ch uh, talk about the normal scenario like if we are taking of naman N A M A N Naman. So what we can do, we have to check like whether this is equals to this, okay, and whether this is equals to this, and whether it is equals to this, okay. So like in this case, Naman, we have to check it from front, and we have to check it from backward also. So what we can do here is we can use the two pointer approach. What two pointer approach? In two pointer approach. In two pointer approach we have two pointers okay that may be front and end okay so we are using two pointer uh, to uh, calculate our result okay so here we will use two pointers so one pointer will be starting from front and one pointer will be starting from one pointer will be starting from back okay now we will check whether uh, the the, uh, the values which are pointed by these pointer are same or not yes they are same so we will decrement this pointer okay so it will point here and it will point here now again we will check whether the values are same or not so yes they are same so again we will decrement so this will be a termination condition if like if we are saying f is the front pointer and e is the end pointer then this will be our termination condition if front is less than or equals to end okay so in this way we will solve our question so if we will take another example like uh, say aman a and aman okay so we are having front here and back here and here okay so these will be uh, these uh, we will check these values so these are not equal so this will this is not a valid palindrome okay so now we will look towards its implementation so for this implementation like we are solving it using c++ so we are having one function int is num okay so what it take it take a character as an input and it return a non zero value if they are a uh, there are alphanumeric characters like from a to z a to z or 0 to 9 and it return 0 if it is not in the in this range or either it is non alphanumeric okay so we will use this function to implement a solution okay so first what we will do okay so we will start by making two pointers int f is equals to 0 uh, and int uh, e is equals to as dot len gth length mm, minus 1 okay now what we will do we will iterate we have seen the termination condition while f is less than equals to e okay now what we will do first we will check if whether it is alphanumeric or not so we will use this function is uh, al and your result is num okay so what we will do we will pass a character here mm, so that will be s of 
Yeah, we will check whether the uh, whether the uh, character which is pointed by the front pointer is a character or not okay so if it is equal equals to zero either it is a non alphanumeric character in that case what we will do we will increment the value of friend okay the same thing we will do with the end one if is a l num of s of end one is uh, not an alpha is is equals to not uh, alpha is non alpha numeric character then we will decrement the value of ee because those character we have to remove so instead of removing those character we are just uh, ignoring them okay whenever we in, we are encountering any non uh, alpha numeric character so what we are doing we are incrementing or either decrementing our pointer to point to the next character in our string okay now what we will do we will check if now now it now it, the what the point here is like k in c plus plus capital a is not equals to a small a okay uh, so uh, like we and in the question it is given like it contains pr printable ascii character so but we have to check like this a and this a we have to termed as same okay so we have to first convert these into lower case okay okay so what we will do we will here uh convert to lower we are having function so what we will do we will check s of f if after converting them into lower if s uh, front and the value at pointed by end are not equal then we will return false so that we will do to to lower of s of end okay if it is there now then we will return false okay else we will return true now one condition here is like we are incrementing the pointer okay so why we don't need to like uh, iterate uh, our check after us condition so what we will do we will continue from here okay the same thing we will do here continue okay else we will return after this uh, we will return true okay now we will run this something went wrong to false so we have not written like if the if in case their character matches then we have to increment our pointer so we will increment our pointer and we will decrement our end pointer like as we have discussed here in case of naman if these two value are same then what we are doing we are in incrementing our front pointer and we are decrementing our back pointer so that we have to do if they are uh, if they are not equal then we have to return false if they are equal in a suitable one else condition and the then we will increment and decrement the pointer so after the loop terminate so like there is no condition which was uh, which was satisfied from here like uh, no character was uh, uh, unequal so it will not return false so it will return true so we will first run this yes so now it is accept accepted now we can submit so yes it is submitted successfully so this is our solution so what is the time complexity for this as we are iterating this uh, uh, string uh, one time so if the length of a string that let us consider to be n so its time complexity will be capital o of n okay and this space we are not using any extra space so it's, it's space complexity will be capital o of one constant space okay so thank you for watching